little bit more. So, I believe all of you are ready now. Let's begin with our first contestant, Miss USA. Hi everybody, I'm Giselle Barbie Royale. I'm a 31-year-old trans female located in Orlando, Florida. I'm a friend, I'm a sister, I'm a daughter, I'm a mother. I'm many things to many people. I love trans advocacy and I love standing for what is right. So the reason why I wanted to become a trans advocate is because, first of all, I'm trans and I wanted to be able to help others and I wanted to be able to give people that don't have direction, I wanted to be able to give them direction. And with the help of Bliss, I've been able to do that. I've seen many trans women murdered. I've seen trans women be homeless. Now I've we seen... are with USA. Can you please introduce yourself? Hello everyone, I am Miss USA, Giselle Barbie. Giselle Barbie Royale, Miss USA. I hear that you've done a lot for your community. Can you please tell us about that? Yes, um, well, I currently am an employee at a um, health care facility. Mm -hmm. It's Bliss Healthcare Services, and we are an STD clinic, and we help anyone that has any STDs or in, if they need to be treated for HIV. We help those individuals free of cost if they don't have insurance. Mm -hmm. um, I'm an HIV tester. I do rapid tests so I can assist you if you need to be tested for HIV and I can assist you if you need help as far as with your name change, many other things we do there. You have so many occupations to choose from. Mm -hmm. Why why this? Um, well, I'm an entertainer first and foremost mm -hmm. and I, I, my community takes care of me. My, my community is, uh, is who puts food on my table and that's how I'm able to pay my bills. When they come up and they tip me money on the show, um, I'm able to, to take care of myself. So why not give back to them in their time of need? So that's when I started working at the clinic and I was able to help those that needed help. So that's why I chose to do that because I wanted to give back to them for giving to me. Mm -hmm. That's such a beautiful and positive energy. Thank you. Seeing me here, I feel like the community in the U.S. is really open. Yes. You know, we've had um, African American uh, president. Mm -hmm. For you personally, do you think there will ever be a chance where we see a transgender president? Um, I, I think that anything is possible. Mm -hmm. um, if I had to speak on this moment in time right now, um, I don't see that in the near future. Uh, I think we have to get over a few more, a few more hurdles. Um, I think we have to get a cisgender woman in office first mm -hmm. and let her break down those barriers and break down those walls and then maybe in the future then we can get someone that's of trans experience into office. If you had the chance of being the first transgender um, president for the United States, what would be your policy? What would you like to change most? Oh, um, there's so many things, so many policies that could be changed in the United States uh, in, in the world period. I think if I was the president, I would take away, uh, the president of the United States, I would make sure that everyone has health care. I think health care should be something that's free to everyone. That's like basic needs. Yes, it, it, absolutely. So I think everyone would have free health care with no questions. Mm -hmm. There will be an election here in Thailand very yes, soon. Yes, I heard about that. Can you that. please ask people to come out to vote and exercise their rights? Well, um, it, can you tell me who's um, running for, for running? We have a lot of people. Oh, it's a lot of people running. Yes. Okay. Well, I'm not abreast on who's running for office, but I can say this. If the person that's currently not in office right now doesn't hold the qualities and the, and the values that you hold, I think that you should get up and go vote. That's the only way that you can make change is to get up and do something about it. If you sit around and you talk and you just say you want change and you don't get up and make change, nothing's going to happen. So get up and go vote. The change is in your hands. So yes. get out and go vote. Please. Okay, politics aside, now okay. back to entertainment. You just told me that you are an entertainer. Yes. And I also heard from someone around here that you sing really well. Uh, a little bit. Show me. Uh, what would you like to hear? What would you like to sing for us? <laughs> Uh, yesterday I did a little bit of uh, Whitney Houston for one of my friends, so okay. I can do a little bit. A little bit of Just a a little Whitney bit. Houston for all of us today. From Melissa Carrara, Okay. 
Ready? Okay. Okay. If I should stay, I would only be in your way. So I'll go, but I know I'll think of you every step of the way. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> that was impromptu. That was really good. Beautiful. Thank you. Okay. Anything to say for your fans that are rooting for you? Um, I would like to say this. Everyone that's rooting for me around the world, I hope that on March 8th, everyone rooting for me around the world, on March 8th, I hope to make history. I hope to warm your hearts. I hope to shake the world. And I hope to come into your lives and make positive change. Thank you. Thank you, USA. Thank you.